Okay, so how I make $1,045 per day with SEO. I'm gonna go over exactly step-by-step step how we do it and how you can do it too. I won't hide a single thing, so let's just get straight into it. Now, before I go into the strategy, I first need to give a bit of context on what the business is, right? The business is, and if you're on this channel, you probably already know, right? It is an AI content writing machine. It writes content for you, automatically publishes it to your site, automatically syndicates it to social media, does keyword research, does a bunch of stuff that essentially allows you to produce content for your blog and is eventually ranking higher on Google. So if I go here to history, again, I'm going to, going to give you a quick background on how this works. This is a type of content that the um, our product produces, right? This is for the Golden Retriever niche, right? I can click here, view. This is all done with AI, right? The featured image, the proper uh, the table of content, sorry, the proper, in our, proper article structuring with uh, in-article images, links to other articles, internal links, external links, more links here, in-article images. There's even videos on here that are relevant to what the content is about. So again, instead of people having to hire content writers that have to write the whole article, source the images, source the videos, source where they're gonna link out to, where they're gonna interlink to, right? Do right, all this, right? We automate this all for you, right? And we also automate the publishing. You can just click here, this button, right? Post to integration, post to integration to post it to, post it to the, the client site or their own site, or click here, publish all to integration to publish all three to integrations. Integrations can be anything they like, right? They can be WordPress, Shopify, Ghost Weeks, Web Blogger, or Zapier, or an external API. So essentially, we automate their content marketing, marketing efforts, sorry, for them. We also index the content automatically in Google. We also share it to social media. We also, if they add their site here, uh, their site or their language or their country, we give them a list of keywords they can target. So essentially what it does, the, the product, right? You connect the product with your site. Again, okay? your site can be anything you want. And the AI does the keyword research, right? Then um, generates content based off of these keywords, right? Then automatically publishes the content to their site, automatically indexes it in Google, right? And as soon as the posts are published to the site, it automatically syndicates them to their LinkedIn, to their Twitter, which is now called X, to their Facebook, right? All of this on autopilot, right? This is what the product does, right? Now, how are we making, oh, actually before that, they also can set auto blogs so that they have content being produced. For example, they can do five posts every day, so Monday through Friday. So can they set, they can have an auto blog running in the back, so producing content for them on autopilot for their niche, for their language automatically, right? There's a much more stuff like knowledge base because this way they're able to produce brand tailored content with their own brand's images. So again, if this is their brand, right? Your brand is matter of assets, right? Your website is an asset. Your Twitter page is an asset. Your LinkedIn is an asset. Uh, any text documents you have, these are all assets, right? And by connecting your brand with the AI, the AI is able to produce brand tailored content again with your brand's own images, your brand's tone of voice, your brand's mannerism. So it's pretty cool. And they can just click here to generate articles. This is the input, right? This is the input they have to give to the AI, the AI, sorry. And then they click generate and the AI spits out the articles that you just saw, right? I won't go over these right now because there's a bunch of stuff right here, but this is essentially how the product works, right? So how do we make a thousand dollars a day uh, with uh, SEO, right? So pretty simply, we are a software company as you saw, right? And so there are a couple types of ways in which you can drive targeted traffic to our site. Now, before I go over that, I need to show you, I need to explain to you how we produce content, why we produce content, right? Why do we produce an article? If I go here to this, if I go to blog, why do we produce an article about uh, about this, right? Why is this here, right? Why is this article here? Why are we targeting this keyword? Why are we targeting WordPress? Why is this, right? Well, why is this here? And to explain that, we have to build out our keyword matrix, right? In where the, in the Y axis, we have BY, which is the buyer intent. And in the X axis, we have traffic, which also is competition because the higher the traffic, the higher the competition, right? And so we have to fill this in, right? And I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say we have an iPhone repair shop, right? And we, we can have articles ranking on Google, people coming in for uh, keywords such as uh, how to repair an iPhone, or people can, can come in for articles ranking for where to repair an iPhone or uh, uh, how much does it cost to repair an iPhone? Now, the keywords where and how, people searching for where to repair an iPhone are much more likely to buy than someone searching for how much. Than someone searching for how, sorry, because someone searching for how to repair an iPhone, we can assume that most likely they want to do it themselves. While someone searching for where or how much, most likely, again, we can assume that they want to pay someone to do it, to do it for them. So the buying intent here is much higher, right? Even though this could have 10,000 searches a month, if this has just 1K, but the buying intent is much higher, we should go after these ones. So when drawing your keyword matrix, when doing the list of your keywords, don't go for keywords here, nor here, right? Why? Because these have low buyer intent, low traffic, and these have low buyer intent, high traffic. So 
if they're low by intent and they're also competitive. So they're even harder to rank. So you need to go and target keywords here and here in these two quadrants, high buying intent, high traffic and low traffic. So you need to go here. And that's all our SEO game and all our the, the content we produce and how we're able to achieve these results in such a short period of time. This isn't anything big, right? But a lot of our traffic, some of our traffic comes from SEO, uh, the, other, the rest of traffic comes from social media, right? Um, just not focusing on SEO, right? Um, it comes because there's a strategy behind this, right? We don't just do random stuff. There's a strategy and it stems from here, it stems from figuring out, okay, for our niche, for our product, for the issue that our product solves, what are keywords that satisfy or ha sorry have a high buying intent? And in this case, case of software, one of them is comparison keywords. So journalist AI, which is our product, for example, we do versus, for example, competitor one versus journalist AI, right? Competitor one versus journalist AI. And we produce a bunch of these competitor articles. I'll show you here, if we go to top pages real quick here, this article, uh, let's see here, this is an article, article, sorry, comparing a competitor with journalist AI, right? Just written here with a table, okay, so a bunch of videos, information, right? Comparing both tools, right? And this gets, I mean, it's not much, but it's ranking for their own brand name, right? And it's going up the ranks. Now this <laughs> quite a drop here, but it's it's going up and down, going up the ranks and it's ranking, right? So the first thing is we have these comparison pages, comparing uh, competitors, right? As you see here with our tool. Why? Because again, someone's searching for alternative to competitor one. They already know what the competitor does. So they have the pain, right? And they're looking for an alternative. They're ready to buy, right? If you look for an uh, alternative for an iPhone Plus, right? You know what a phone is for. You use the phone daily. You have the you want the, you want to call people. That's why you have the phone. You want to access the internet. That's why we have the phone. And you're looking for an alternative. So you're highly likely to buy. So these keywords, the comparison keywords, are high buyer intent, and usually they're low traffic, low competition, right? So you want to target these ones. So for software, what we're targeting, what we're going after is. All our competitors, competitor one, competitor two, competitor three, and we're doing all these comparison pages, right, for uh, what competitor against journalist AI. Because again, these are high buyer intent keywords. People know the competitors, they're looking for an alternative because maybe they've tried it, maybe it's too expensive, maybe it doesn't do what they want, and they are looking, actively looking to uh, be onboarded to an alternative. So this is a high, high, high buyer intent keyword. Of course, that's why we targeted. Here's another one comparison page, this one versus us, right? This one versus us. And there's a bunch more, right? Um, and uh, this is how, so how we're able to drive traffic. Now, yeah, 17 people might seem like like not, it's not a lot, but it's not just about the number, right? It's more about the buying intent than the number itself, right? Because if we have, we can have a keyword, right? That's here, right? High traffic, 10,000 10, searches per month, but it's very low buyer intent. I prefer 10 times to be here and here than down below here, right? So take that because um, it's super important, right? Now, something else we're doing as well is these free tool pages. This is a free tool. You can generate free AI paragraphs. We essentially are giving away a free version of our tool, even though, of course, we give it on a homepage for free, three articles for free. We give it in a different way. We give it a paragraph. Uh, we give a paragraph uh, generator here. So again, free tools. So we have the comparison pages and we also have free tools, right? Now, Granted, of course, someone looking for a free tool, the buying intent will be lower than someone looking for a competitor alternative. Now, that's just a reality, right? Someone looking for free tools, people searching for free stuff, only tend to want free stuff, right? So yes, it's good to rank here, but I would say that the competitors would be here, right? The good here, high buyer intent, low traffic. The um, free tools would be lower buyer intent, sort of high traffic. So it's, it's gonna be around here, I guess, okay? Low buyer intent, highest traffic or a bit high traffic, okay? But it's still in these two quadrants, so it makes sense for us to tackle, right? And there's a bunch more here. Um, for example, we also have blog content, right? Best AI writing tools. So again, we're targeting in this case. So we have the competitors, we have the free tools, and of course we have keywords targeting exactly what our product does, right? Product, product keywords, you can call them. And these are the main three drivers, right? Product keywords, for example, AI writer, um, SEO AI writer, auto blogging tool, because we, we do have an auto automatic blog, as you saw here. Here, it automatically writes and publishes and indexes and syndicates social media automatically for you. So we do have that. So essentially it's producing content based off of the features of our product, right? And so, yeah, that's essentially, it. essentially how we're driving traffic that actually makes us money to our site. You can just copy this, take the playbook and copy it because it does work and that's how we're, what we're doing. And 
we are also leveraging AI, right? We're also leveraging AI to create the articles, not just to create them, but to automate the publishing, to automate the indexing in Google, to automate the social, automate the social syndication. Because the reality is that, and I oftentimes, again, give this example, but if you have a ladder to success where up top is success money, right? You can go step by step and you can do the cure research manually, right? You can write the content manually. You can find images to add to your articles. You can find videos to add to your articles. You can figure out, okay, I'm going to read the article and then, okay, where am I going to add links to? Internal links, external links. It takes so much, much effort. But if you leverage AI, you can be able to produce the content just as I saw, as I showed you before, right? I'll show you this one. It's in, uh, in Portuguese because it produces content in over 150, 150 different languages, right? With in article images, right? Internal links, external links, videos, right? By the way, this is in Portuguese, and of course, the video here is in Portuguese, right? This is an article about indoor plants in Portuguese, and the video is, of course, in Portuguese in the same niche, right? So again, this takes time, takes effort. Yeah, you can do it manually, but you can also automate it with AI, because the same thing about AI is that you skip ahead of the line, right? You don't do all of these steps manually, just boom, skip ahead of the line, right? And you got to think about AI as a, as a tool, as a tool you can leverage to go ahead, because you can tie it under, under up a bolt with your hand, or you can use a wrench, right? It's much faster. You can go much further with it. And this is what AI is. It is a technology that allows you to go further, faster. So yeah, that's it. Like the video if you like this and try Journalist AI. I'll leave a link down below. You can have access to three articles for free. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.